This is a demonstration of a hydraulic test bed showing the operation of one of the servo valves that will be used on the powered exoskeleton. Over here we have a test bed including a hydraulic pump, a hydraulic servo valve, an H-bridge controller to provide current to the valve coil, a hydraulic stage, and a space bowl. The space bowl has a six degree of freedom uh, sensor which allows measurement of three translational axes of force and three rotational axes of torque. This data is sent uh, to a lab view uh, VI which measures all the axes and displays the output. The z-axis variable is then forwarded to a DSPIC microcontroller which controls the H-bridge. The uh, effective DC current on the valve coil is synthesized by two complementary waveforms modulated at as a um, 20 kilohertz square wave. As the uh, space ball is pushed forward, one of the signals goes high while the other signal goes low. Since there is a 20 kilohertz switching frequency, the valve inductance only passes the effective RMS DC level of the signal, which gives an effective DC current through the valve and shifts the valve spool, actuating the hydraulic stage. By pulling it back, the other signal goes high while the top signal goes low. Turning on the hydraulic pump and pushing the uh, trackball forward will cause the stage to move one way, while pulling it back will cause it to move the other. Right now the servo valve is operating with around 100 psi differential pressure across the valve, which is significantly less than its rated operation. At the rated operation pressure of 1000 psi, the valve can um, ha have a about 3.5 gallons per minute flow right through, so in actual operation with a high pressure pump, the um, stage actuation would be considerably quicker. It will also be demonstrated by removing the space ball and demonstrating stage motion without the space ball on top.